Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, October 3rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around and the candlestick you see will be moving around. That's because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, ATXI, did this one earlier on in the week. And this will mean a bit more to those of you that watched that video, but hopefully you remember me drawing in that trend line right there. And better yet, hopefully you were somebody that bought that breakout of the trend line during that opening 30 minutes, because that breakout right there made a fantastic move. And those of you that watched that video and took that breakout, I'm assuming you guys are going to be having a very nice weekend. So congratulations to you. But let's get the newest pattern here mapped out uh, that is now formed. And first part of the pattern right here, the resistance, you can see the pro price had a little problems right there. But at the same time, the price has been doing a fantastic job of holding strong and just, you know, getting this little miniature uptrending trend line right there. Let me change that to green to represent more so the bullish part of the pattern. And then maybe to make this a little easier to see, let's make it one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big breakout and momentum move right there. And then to make it more visual, let's put a golf hole down here. And this would be known as a bull pennant pattern. So while nothing is guaranteed in the market, is it valid? Is it plausible to think that if the price comes up here and gets a break up through the top part of that pattern, that that pattern breakout could create more additional momentum? That's absolutely, once again, not a guaranteed outcome, but a plausible outcome to have. So if you like to play bull pennant patterns, then definitely keep an eye on this one next week. Next one, CCL, absolutely destroyed today like a lot of the other cruise stocks. And not that cruise stocks are super, super popular, but they are relatively popular, especially CCL. And I say all that because when a really popular stock just gets absolutely beat down, it can produce not even necessarily reversals, but dead cat bounces. And from a trading standpoint, a dead cat bounce is sometimes all you need to create a worthwhile profit for yourself. So the level here that I think a whole lot of people will be watching is this nasty, nasty downtrending line right there, which is relatively steep. So as I just mentioned, no guarantees, but is it plausible to think that if this thing can all of a sudden start to turn around and come up there and get a break up through that level, that you could have some bounce players that are trying to hop in and maybe scalp some sort of dead cat bounce to the upside, or who knows? The cherry on top would be not a dead cat bounce, but an actual reversal. Yeah, that is a more than plausible thought process to have. But you also have to acknowledge the fact that this thing is getting beat down. So if you're somebody that's just a not a disciplined trader, you don't honor stop losses, you don't even know what those are. I mean, you shouldn't even be trading in that regard, but that's a whole nother video. Uh, but point here being that you should definitely stay away from ones like this because yes, you, get, you have to also acknowledge that there's a lot of downwards pressure, but all it takes sometimes is a little bit of alleviation of that pressure and you can get some good solid bounces. Uh, so if you do like to play these sorts of, you know, relatively popular stocks that get beat down and then look for some sort of dead cat bounce, then, uh, you know, this one is definitely meeting all those criteria. Next one, AVCT, which is a relatively popular stock in the sense of it's a penny stock that's a lot of people have been talking about recently. Um, and it's one that just got absolutely smoked today. So along those same lines of CCL, when a relatively popular stock, and this one is again, in the world of penny stocks, uh, then yeah, it's worth at least keep an eye on. And the difference here between CCL, is CCL, you noticed during that last 30 minutes that there was that red candle forming, but this one's actually getting a little bit of a bounce here as we head to, into a close. So which brings up the question is, okay, is this bottom in? Is this price starting to show some signs of power? Now, don't get me wrong, and I wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because there's a gap down, just because the price went sideways, does not mean that for sure guaranteed this is the bottom, and for sure guaranteed this thing is gonna bounce. But is it at least a rational thought process to have? Absolutely, which brings about and why this level of support is gonna be so important moving forward down here at the 18 cent mark. Just simply, the, you know, basic logic. Well, is if, if this is some sort of bottom, well then by definition, the price needs to stop going down. Stop going down relative to what? Well, stop going down relative to that 18 cent mark. So keep an eye on that. If the price does try to bounce back upwards, then main area right now to keep an eye on is gonna be that trend line right there, which essentially puts the breakout area right around that 20 cent mark. So along those lines of CCL, if you like to play stocks that are relatively popular, that have been beaten down, then you look for some sort of dead cat bounce. Here you go, down in the penny stock range. Next one, AMC, which again, will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched the past video, uh, but the power of charts. I mean, check it out. Opening 30 minutes, price gap down, drop, 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 and then essentially bounce right off of that level that I talked about previously, and then got a very nice bounce. So for those of you that did watch the video previously, and uh, you, you took some shares down there to play that bounce, I mean, you got rewarded very nicely. But taking a step back now and looking at things from a bigger picture point of view, yeah, things are looking pretty rough. You got the bounce, but as I speak, you can see this bounce 
has been trending downwards lower and lower, including the last 30 minutes here, which, again, as I speak, is looking pretty rough here. But to be fair, again, from a bigger picture, the price is still holding above not only the 690 mark, but also the 680 mark. So it's not like the price has totally crashed. It's not like, you know, the price has gone to new lows relative to this area back here. Uh, but, uh, sorry, that was behind my ugly mug. I just noticed that. There we go. It's not like the price broke down below those lows or anything. However, you know, it is starting to roll back over. So that'll be, I think, the main question, at least on my mind, is, okay, is this rollover? Is this last 30 minutes here the leading indicator where this thing's just going to crash down through all these lows? We'll see what happens. If it does try to bounce, then as I also talked about from a resistance standpoint, it's all about that purple line there, the 50-period moving average. Presented problems a couple times previously, and then... Fast forwarding to today, you can see once again presented problems in that late morning uh, session right there before rolling back over. So yeah, 690, 680, definitely very, very important levels of support. So we'll see if the price can stay above it or not. Next one, FNGR, beautiful uptrend, beautiful pattern. And you, all this is occurring now on good solid volume. I was kind of asking myself, why, why is this the first time I've done this? I mean, with such a good looking pattern, or excuse me, such a good looking trend. But looking down here, you can see volume has basically been non-existent, but not the case here. Volume really kicked it in. So here we are and very, very well-defined pattern here. So you got to think a lot of people are watching it. So, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. When a lot of people are watching the same pattern, wondering the same thing, it can produce some very nice movements. And let me just get this pattern drawn in a play there. So we have our resistance up there at about 355. We have this nice support trend line right here. So get that. And then as I did with the other one, let's just make it one color. So we have our resistance. We have our support. We have our very nice momentum move right there. We got our golf hole down there. And we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play this price range, if you like to play bull pennants, here you go. Real quick, I wanted to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used uh, to make good decisions as a trader to build consistency, then certainly get signed up for this free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen, then certainly get signed up for the free training. Next one, SOBR. And overall, a little bit of a shaky pullback here this late day, but the crazy thing here is this is all happening on very, very, did I say very low volume, which is pretty bizarre. I mean, big pullback, very low volume, uh, but that's that's the idea of a watch list is to find those unique, to find those interesting situations, not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch it. And in my mind, yeah, this is this is kind of an odd, a kind of a bizarre situation, so why not keep an eye on it? And within the grand scheme of things, sure, there has been a downtrend here that has been forming this afternoon, but what happened before the downtrend? Well, you had this big old momentum move right here. So from a pattern perspective, despite the downtrend, you know, in the short term, that has still created a bull flag pattern. So bull pennant, bull flags, sort of the one and the same, but there are, are some differences. Uh, but once again, good solid bull flag, very, very low volume pullback here. Um, so we'll see if this thing can get a recovery and break back upwards next week or not. Next one, AIMD. Really like this one because there's uh, some just very clear points. First uh, clear point from a support standpoint is that pink line right there, which is the very famous 200 period moving average. So you can see the price found some support there. Once again, it's pulled back and is sitting right around that area, uh, you know, headed into the, the close here, which brings about the first question is, okay, can this level once again hold current value of that 200 period moving average right there at $1.83. So that'll be the first level that, like I said, again, I'm not trying to impress you. This is not some sort of secret discovery. A lot of people will be watching that $1.83 mark. So we'll see if that can hold strong. But if the price, if it does hold strong, produces a bounce, well then I think the point that a lot of people will be watching for, okay, can we get some sort of technical turnaround within this consolidation pattern? And that level seems to be right up there at the 205 mark. Again, I think a lot of people are watching that level. So if the price were to go up there, recover, get the breakthrough there, then that break in and of itself plausible to think it could create good solid upside buying pressure. So yeah, if you like to play this price range, if you like to play, you know, charts that have these very well-defined levels, I definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, TSLA Tesla and a very, very interesting situation, which again is the idea behind watch list. And that has to do with the fact of the level right here at 265.50. You can see that as I speak, the price is now starting to break below it during the final 30 minutes here, which brings about the huge question that everybody's going to be asking, is this the start of a much bigger breakdown? Now, to be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this is a faulty breakout or excuse me, breakdown and this thing just you know snaps right back up. 
But that's a two-sided coin because well, maybe it is the start of something much bigger and this thing's headed not only to the lows, but even lower. So the core underlying theme here is that let's locate those interesting situations. And one of popular stocks such as Tesla are breaking down through very well-defined areas of support then yes, that is certainly something worth keeping an eye on. I am going to leave this green uh, because to be fair, yeah, maybe this is just a little miniature breakdown and it's still a level of support, but I do want to map out the next level of support and the level that everybody and their brother's uncle is going to be watching next week. And that is going to be down here at 262.50, which is that low from right there. And you can see from this point of view that if 262.50 is broken, then that is putting the price down at lows that have not been seen for months upon months. Not saying that'll happen, just saying that is why uh, that 262.50 mark, if it does come into play, uh, you know, is going to be a very, very important level and a very, very watched level. Any sort of bounces back to the upside, keep an eye up here on the 271 mark. But in my opinion, at least, definitely the most intriguing and interesting dynamic here is what's going to happen with this breakdown. Is this the start of something much bigger to the downside? Let's see how it next week plays out. Next one here, AMD. And what just a brutal day. When you just think about the psychology of it, you know people are feeling great. All right, nailed the bottom. Look at this beautiful bounce. And then has essentially rolled all the way back over. Now, I say essentially because it hasn't gone all the way back over, which is why, in my opinion, that level right there at 63, and it's knocking on the door. That's why I like to do this when the market's open, because, I mean, check it out. Knocking on that door, market's about to close, though. But pointer being, we are once again right here in a Tesla-type moment, meaning, okay, very popular stock right down here. Now, I, I will take, I wouldn't say this is as well-defined as that level on Tesla, but you still got to think a lot of people are watching that level because they're wondering, okay, the price has rolled over. Is this thing headed down to these previous lows right here at 62.75? And are those going to fall? Because if those fall, then like Tesla, this would be putting the price down at lows that it's not seen for months upon months, potentially years, but I, I don't know about the years thing. But pointer being very, very interesting dynamic here in terms of how bad is this movement of the last 30 minutes going to ultimately lead to. So keep an eye on that. And then like a couple of the other stocks, we have ourselves a nasty trend line. I mean, look how steep that trend line is. So going back to the CCLs of the world, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, is it valid to think that the price can all of a sudden break up through that level that could create a worthwhile, you know, upside movement? Absolutely. Again, am I saying the price is going to reverse and go back up to $75? I'm not saying that, but from a trading standpoint, it could produce a, a quality uh, movement there. So definitely keep an eye on that resistance trend line right there. But yeah, definitely a rough way to close out the day and the week. Next one, SQQQ, which is an ETF, which will go up when the NASDAQ market goes down. So this is an ETF that allow you to make money if you think that the NASDAQ market will go down, which is exactly why it had a monster move during that last 30 minutes. Because yeah, the NASDAQ market, as you saw, Tesla was dropping, AMD was dropping, therefore this thing was going up. So much so, and this will mean more to those that watched the video previously, but this resistance tread line here that I had drawn in, drawn in uh, you know, which presented a problem right there, the breakout has occurred. Now, from some situations, maybe you missed the per, uh, missed the trade, right? Because if you're a breakout tra player, you could be saying rightfully so, well, I, I play breakouts, I missed a breakout. But again, to be fair and to, re, you know, to remind you, we are in search of unique, interesting situations. And when you have massive trend line breaks on huge volume, that is a situation that's worth at least watching because you have to remember that another breakout pattern can ultimately form. So yes, I fully agree. I understand what you're saying. Well, I missed that breakout. Yeah, but a new breakout could occur. For you pullback players, I mean, there's a price come down here, find some support and then continue on up. That's also a valid uh, situation. So that's where that update needs to be done because when levels of resistance are broken, they tend to act as support. So I'll change that to green because that is now the near-term area of support right there around 6050. And I'll go ahead and get rid of that line as it served its purpose for now. But at the end of the day, the, the underlying dynamic here is that this is an interesting situation for nothing else other than the fact of Big trend line, that big trend line has been broken. It's actually been smashed and this all occurred on big volume. So is this the start of a much bigger breakout? Let's see how it plays out early next week. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about this tool, then I want you to get signed up for the free live training that I'm offering next week. It'll be Thursday, October 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these videos, if you want me to continue to make them, then help me out by doing two easy things. Hit the like button, leave a comment, say hi, tell me your favorite color, tell me what you traded today, tell me what you're watching next week. But a basic comment and hitting the like button help out the channel a lot and I thank you in advance for it. Like I said, it's just a good way to communicate to me that you are enjoying. So again, get signed up for that free training next week. Hit that like button, leave a basic comment below. Everybody, thanks for watching, take care. Have a great weekend.